double right oh, in front of our leader. race leader, Cole Custer, got into Spencer Gallagher, who had spun around with 41 laps to go. Look at the damage on that double zero that truck. Damage. Oh boy, that's a tough break. Yeah, look look at that thing. It's even more damage now when you look at it from this angle. Yeah, that's that's uh Let's get the saw out. Get the saw. Yeah, what a he tough won't. break for that young man. Takes he him right out of contention. See Cole's right up against the outside wall. He just turns around right in front of him. And Caleb Holman said it best. Once you drive in the corner, it's not like you can jump on the brakes and just turn that truck left. This truck just slides those front tires, and you can see he had no chance of missing that at Bristol. Every now and then there's wrecks that are unavoidable, and that was a case of that. Yeah, I really don't know what happened if the somebody got into him or he's just looks like he's just gonna spin out. But uh, you know, I, I was already committed to the top as hard as I could go there. So I couldn't do anything. Just wouldn't turn at all, so <sighs> whatever, I don't know. We had a great truck. I think, you know, the rain was gonna fall in another two minutes, so we probably would have won the thing. But uh just a shame. Uh, we had a really good haul on Major Chevrolet and just didn't get the finish again. What did, what did you guys have any conversation? Even though you had damage on the truck, did you ever have a discussion about potentially staying on the racetrack? Or you guys felt like you needed to come in and get it fixed to salvage a finish, not knowing when, exactly when the rain would come? Well, we knew it was kind of coming. I, honestly, I don't. I think we should have stayed out there. I don't know really why we pit it. I think it was just a thrash kind of, but. Uh, if would have probably, I, I don't know, first or second there if we stayed out, but um, I don't know, just disappointed.